Get Biblical Understanding, along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 57 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all, of the biblical verses that have to do with being other-directed, meaning selfless. Jesus gave us the example that we are to follow. He came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life to save us from our sins. Again, the theme of this series is selflessness. Romans chapter 9, verses 1 to 3. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another. Romans chapter 12, verse 13. Distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Romans chapter 12, verse 14. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Romans chapter 12, verse 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Romans chapter 12, verse 16. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Romans chapter 14, verse 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Romans chapter 14, verse 13. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Romans chapter 14, verses 15 to 17. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably. Destroy not him with thy meat, for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Romans chapter 14, verses 18 to 19. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Romans chapter 15, verses 1 to 3. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself. But, as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding.